सेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ इक्वल ट्राइंगल्स आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट यू आर वॉचिंग माइ चैनल एंड आस्किंग मी मेनी डाउट्स ऑल्सो टूडे अगेन आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग ए डाउट आज बाई ए स्टूडेंट कम टू द क्वेश्चन पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव आई हैव ड्रॉन द फिगर एंड रिटर्न द क्वेश्चन ऑन द बोर्ड ए बी एंड सी डी आर गिवेन टू बी पैरल एंड यू आर गिवेन एम टू बी द मिड पॉइंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज यू आर आज टू कंप्यूट द एंगल्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल ए एम डी सेकेंड ट्राइंगल एम बी सी एंड द थर्ड ट्राइंगल डी सी एम सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज स्पेशल अबाउट द क्वाडिलेटर ए एम सी डी and also m b c d for you to understand clearly children i have drawn them separately now come to the first figure first figure that is a m c d a m c d is a quadrilateral i have drawn here now look at the meshes we know a m is equal to 6 it is because m is the midpoint dc is already given to be equal to 6 also you are given the condition these two lines are parallel lines now what do you know if parallel lines are cut by a transversal the angles formed here these two angles are called alternate angles shall i explain it once again when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal you see a z form here the angles formed here are called alternate angles so what can you say about this angle and this angle they are equal we don't know its measure so let me mark it as some x and this is also equal to x and what about dm dm is the common side for both these triangles so using our idea side included angle side second one side included angle side you can very well understand these two triangles are equal triangles if triangles are equal what do you know angles opposite to equal sides are equal that is opposite to this side you have the angle 40 degree so we can say angle c is 40 degree because it is the angle opposite to the equal side is it clear children so in this figure i can mark angle c as 40 degree do you understand now come to the second figure here again use the same idea we know cd is equal to 6 cm also you know mb is equal to 6 cm and what about this mc this is the common side and what can you say about these two angles children same idea okay when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal alternate angles formed are equal so you got this angle and this angle to be equal this angle to be equal to 40 degree so let me write 40 degree here so this angle will be also equal to 40 degree again side angle side of the first triangle equal to side angle side of the second triangle therefore these two triangles are also equal triangles Do you understand? From that, what can you say? Angle B is given to be equal to 60 degree. In the figure, they have given angle B is equal to 60 degree. So I can mark angle D to be also equal to 60 degree. Reason: angle opposite to the equal side. Now let me mark the 60 degree in this figure. So I will be able to mark. this angle to be equal to 60 degree do you understand children now we can write the other angles very easily 
60 plus 40 is equal to 100. Therefore, the third angle here is equal to 80 degree. So, we got the angles of this triangle. Okay. Again, look at this figure. CD and AB are parallel. And we know this angle to be 40. Already we have found this angle is equal to 40 degree. So, here 60 plus 40 100, therefore the third angle is equal to 80 degree. Come to this figure, here we know this angle. This angle we have to find out. This angle will be equal to 60 degree. It is because these two lines are parallel, cut by a transversal. So alternate angles are equal. Therefore this angle is equal to 60 degree. 60 plus 40, 100. Therefore, what is the remaining angle? This angle is equal to 80 degree. Now, I am explaining the second part of the question. What is special about the quadrilateral AMCD? Say, so, I will explain one figure, the same idea for the second one also. Okay. I have drawn AMCD here. I have marked all the angles also. Just now we have proved these two triangles to be equal triangles. Isn't it? Since triangles are equal, what do you know? Sides opposite to equal angles are equal. That is opposite to 60 degree. We have the side AD. And opposite to this 60 degree, we have the side CM. So what can you say about AD and CM? They are equal. Also, they can say they are parallel. Because this angle is 80 and this angle is also 80 degree. That is, alternate angles are equal. Again, if you have doubt, I will show you by drawing. These two lines are AD and MC. They are cut by a line and these two angles are given to be equal. This is 80 and this is also 80. Since alternate angles are equal, the lines AD and CM are parallel. So what did you get now children? We are given AB and CD to be equal and parallel and now we have proved AD and CM to be equal and parallel. Hence, A, M, C, D can be called as a parallelogram because in a parallelogram, both pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. The same condition you can use for M, B, C, D. Using the same idea, you can say M, B, C, D to be also a parallelogram. Come to the next idea, children. We are talking about isosceles triangles. Now, isosceles triangles can be defined in two ways. Okay, a triangle with any two sides equal can be called as an isosceles triangle. Otherwise, a triangle with any two angles equal can be called as an isosceles triangle. Look at the first figure. Here, AC and BC are 5 cm. Okay. Hence, ABC is an isosceles triangle. Here we can say angle A and angle B are equal because they are the angles opposite to equal sides. Look at the second figure. PQR is the triangle in which Angle P and angle Q are equal. Since two angles are equal, we can call PQR to be an isosceles triangle. Here what can you say? Opposite to 50 degree, you have the side QR. So you can say QR is equal to opposite to this 50 degree, you have the side PR. Is the idea clear to you? In an isosceles triangle, if any two sides are equal, 
angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Otherwise, if any two angles are equal, then sides opposite to equal angles are also equal. Clear children? Come to the question. We are asked to find the other angles in the four figures. Look at the first question. These two sides are given to be equal. So what can you say? Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Opposite to this side you have 30 degree. Therefore opposite to this equal side can write 30 degree. What about the third angle? You know sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So 180 minus of 30 plus 30. That is 180 minus 60. You get 120 degree to be the angle. Clear? Come to this figure. These two sides are given to be equal. So which are the angles going to be equal? Angle opposite to this side. Let me name this angle as X. Angle opposite to this side is also x because these two are equal. Now how do you get this x measure? You know sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Therefore x plus x 2x will be equal to 180 minus 40 that is equal to 140 degree. Therefore, what is x equal to 140 by 2, 70 degree. Therefore, each of the base angles are equal to 70 degree. Clear? Look at the third figure. Same idea. These two sides are equal. So, what can you say? Angles opposite to equal side. Let me name this as y. Therefore, this angle can be also marked as y. We know one angle to be equal to 130 degree. So you can say y plus y. 2y is equal to 180 minus of this 30 degree. That is 2y is equal to 150. So y is equal to 150 by 2 which is equal to 75 degree. Come to this question. These two sides are equal. Use the same idea. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Opposite to this side you have this angle. Let me name that as Z. Opposite to this side I have this angle Z. So what is the measure of each angle? Each measure would be equal to 40 and 40. Clear? In the next class we will do all constructions of this chapter. Thank you for watching children.